Hey folks, um, uh, this is RT Bunker here again, and this one's a uh, factoring uh, special products. Okay, so this one, um, uh, this one's slick. I think it's easier than the last one. The difference of squares, you guys. The difference of squares. If you have a perfect square minus a perfect square, minus means difference. And then what happens is, is they make conjugates of each other. This is the square root of this one. It goes in the first spot here and here. And you square root this one, and it goes in the second spot here and here. Okay? So, and it has to be a minus, you guys. So if it's a minus sign and you have two terms and they're perfect squares, then they just are conjugates of the square roots. Okay? Conjugates just means that they're binomials. They're the same binomial, except one has a plus and one has a minus. All right, so let's factor these guys, you guys. These guys go nice and fast here, okay? So here's four problems, all right? So uh, here, this is y squared, so, and then this is uh, 4 squared, so this becomes y plus 4 times y minus 4, okay? Yes, it's that easy, okay? Now, this is a perfect square. This is 5p squared. This is 7 squared, so it goes 5p plus 7, 5p minus 7. Okay, slick, huh? Okay, I'm going to rewrite this so it looks like a difference. I'm going to put this first and this second right here. So it's uh, 25b squared minus 16, and then that's uh, 5b plus 4, 5b minus 4. Okay, I had to rearrange them. Okay, on this one here, my dog was shaking in the background here. I'm going to uh, GCF out a 2 out of both of these. So always, if you can, GCF, always do a GCF first. So I pulled a 2 out. Then I have a difference of squares. That's 2 squared, and that's 3x squared. So this becomes 2 plus 3x, 2 minus 3x. Don't forget about your 2 that you GCF'd out. All right, got to get rid of that because it's going to be in the way here in a second. All right, perfect square trinomials, they work like this, you guys. Trinomials means there's three terms, so if there's three terms, this always has to be a plus right there and right there. It has to be a plus, and so do these guys. That has to be a positive, and this has to be a positive. But there's three terms. This has to be a perfect square. This has to be a perfect square. And then it becomes a binomial squared. I square root this one. I square root this one. And this sign right here, I'm going to put that in there. Let's see. Let me go right here. This sign right here is always in the middle of my binomial. So that plus sign goes right there. And this minus sign goes right there. Okay? So I just square root both sides right there. Alrighty? So let's go ahead and factor some of these, you guys. Uh, when I factor this, um, uh, here are some perfect square trinomials. So um, uh, this is uh, x squared. This is 3 squared. So this becomes quantity x plus 3 quantity squared. Now what you have to do is you have to mentally check these guys. Sorry, I'm, I want to go back to that right there. I have to check. You have to multiply those guys in your head. That's 3x, and then this is always twice. That 2 right there means it's always double that. So multiply these two guys as 3x, double that, and it should be that. So you have to check it, you guys. So multiply 3x and double is 6x, so I'm good. I made it, okay? Perfect square, square root of this side is 3x. The square root of that side is 2, so it becomes uh, the quantity 3x. And don't forget, that sign goes in the middle, minus 2. And then let's multiply these two guys. 3x times negative 2 is negative 6x. If I double it, yep, I'm good. So that's it right there. You have to check it. Sometimes it's not, you guys. Okay, here. Uh, this is 2a quantity squared. This is b squared. So it's going to have a minus sign in the middle. It's going to be 2a minus b quantity squared. Okay, and then multiply and double. Multiply those two guys double. Yep, I'm good. Okay, here, GCF. I'm going to GCF out a negative 2 first. Okay, when I pull a negative 2 out, then I got a perfect square, perfect square, perfect square trinomial. So it goes into a binomial squared. And then we got to double check it, you guys. Square to that goes here. Square to that goes here. This sign goes right there. Multiply those. That's 4xy double. Good. I'm good. Okay, I got one coming up where it doesn't work. All right. Okay, I'm going to GCF a... Uh, a 2 out first, and here I'm going to GCF a 3 out first, okay? Got to always GCF out, and hey, by golly, we have perfect square trinomials, okay? Square root of that's y, square root of that's 5, minus sign, so y minus 5 goes right there with the 2, okay? Over here, square root of that's x, the square root of that's 5, okay? Let's multiply those. y times negative 5 is negative 10, or negative 5y double is negative 10y. Over here, though, right here, uh, square to that, square to that goes right there. But if I multiply those, I get 5x and double it. And this one, nope, 
Nope, that's not it. That's the answer right there. That's all I can do is pull that 3 out right there. Okay, so be careful. If it's not double, then it doesn't factor, you guys. It has to be double, okay? So if it's perfect square, perfect square, it goes binomial squared, and then check it out. Make sure it's double right there. All right, and then so let's solve some of these guys, you guys. Okay, so um, uh, here's number one. Okay, perfect square trinomial. Perfect square, perfect square. So this is going to be 4x minus 3 quantity squared equals 0. And then set that factor equal to 0. So I'm going to go plus 3, plus 3. I square root of both sides, square to 0, 0. So 4x minus 3 equals 0, plus 3, plus 3, and then divide by 4, you get 3 fourths on that. Okay, all right, this one right here. Okay, this one here. Uh, I don't like these fractions and most students don't so what I'm gonna do is look at these denominators there's a 3 there's a 9 there's a imaginary 1 right there multiply everything by a common denominator you guys and that makes the fractions disappear so I multiplied everything times 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 right there okay and then so here's my 9x squared perfect square and then uh, 3 and this uh, 3 goes into 9 3 times, so I'm left with 3 times 2, so 6x. Here the 9's cancel, so plus 1, another perfect square. By golly, it's a trinomial. It's a perfect square trinomial. So if I square root those, let's double it first. 3x double is 6x, so I'm good. Okay, and then subtract 1, you get negative 1, and divide by 3, you get a negative 1 third. Alrighty, alright. Okay, gang, if you are in my class, I would probably assign that for your homework. Take care, you guys.